Despite the annually updated beauty rankings, Gina Lola Brigido is officially regarded as the most beautiful woman of all time. The world lay at the feet of this stunning Italian, with admirers ranging from influential politicians and royalty to the wealthiest businessmen. In 2013, the legendary actress auctioned off her jewelry collection in Geneva, embodying the Dolce Vita era, which she began collecting in the early 1950s. The collection included the famous elegant Piaget clutch, entirely crafted from high purity gold, rare grayish hued pearl drop earrings, a ring with a baguette cut diamond weighing over 20 carats from Bulgari, a diamond necklace that Gina daringly wore as a tiara, adorning her luxurious hair, and Colombian emeralds of the most intense color imaginable, along with other extraordinarily beautiful pieces from the world's finest jewelers. Each item in the collection dazzled with its beauty and the refined taste of its owner. But the most intriguing piece for collectors was an unassuming pendant on a delicate gold chain, modest in comparison to the other items. At first glance, the pendant appeared to be a simply greyish opaque stone, but upon closer inspection, it revealed itself to be something truly magical. The heart-shaped pendant is carved from a solid piece of mysteriously shimmering kimberlite. Engraved with the actress's initials, GL, its center features a pure diamond weighing six carats, cut in a star-shaped octahedron. This diamond was gifted to Gina by Mr. Harry Oppenheimer, president of the diamond mining giant De Beers, as a token of admiration and gratitude. On the day of her visit to the company's South African mine, one of the largest diamonds in the world was discovered. An interesting fact is, that the kimberlite pendant with the inset diamond is the only piece of jewelry given to the actress. All the other pieces were purchased by the world's most beautiful woman herself. Let's explore some of them. We'll start with the diamond floral necklace, about which Gina herself said, this necklace was the first piece I bought. One day I was on a bicycle and the next in a Rolls Royce. That was my life. Sometimes I wore this necklace on my head. Created by the Italian jewellery firm Bulgari in 1954, this necklace, which can also be worn as a bracelet and a tiara, features a lacy design with 22 round-cut diamonds. These diamonds are surrounded by fan-shaped arrays of baguettes and diamond pave radiating from each central stone, resembling a parade of stylized white peacocks. Another exquisite piece by Bulgari includes emerald earrings. The lower part can be detached allowing the upper part to be adorned with different pendants. The set is complemented by a brooch with a 27.57 carat emerald and diamonds, crafted by Bulgari in 1964. The actress recalls, I wore these earrings to a dinner with Salvador Dali. It was a very peculiar evening. Dali had to protect me from another woman. She wanted to kill me. I was with a man she loved. Such things happen. It wasn't my fault. You can't force people to do what you want but she was very angry. Dali tried to separate us so I could leave in a taxi. I adored Dali. He was a fantastic companion with a wonderful sense of humor and he never stopped talking. So lunch or dinner with him would turn into three or four hours. It was a lot of fun. But the actress's emerald collection wasn't limited to earrings. Another remarkable piece is a stunning ring with diamonds and emeralds by Bulgari. A step-cut emerald weighing 16.62 carats framed by two rows of classic cut diamonds. This ring was created by Bulgari in 1964. The collection also included tiaras. Gina's favorite was the floral necklace transformer with diamonds by Bulgari, which I have already mentioned. This piece could easily be converted into two bracelets and then back into a necklace. There was also a diamond tiara with an emerald, featuring a unique carved design. On one side, it depicted the Virgin Mary and baby Jesus, and on the other side, the Annunciation. Another tiara, the floral tiara, was the only one made with natural pearls and diamonds. Pearls were another of Gina's boundless passions. Her collection boasted a true treasure, pearl earrings from the Habsburg dynasty. These earrings featured two natural pear-shaped pearls of exceptional size. They were detachable, allowing the diamond clips to be worn separately from the pearls. Gina dazzled in these earrings and a tiara at the 40th anniversary reception of Time magazine in New York in 1963. She later remarked, Sometimes wealthy people would approach me and ask if I would sell these earrings, but I said no many times. Another piece in her collection was an emerald and diamond necklace, 
estimated at $12,000-$18,000, which she acquired during a trip to India. The collection included other stunning pieces by the Italian jeweler Bulgari, offered for sale. The double-sided necklace, purchased in Rajasthan, is adorned with diamonds on one side and enamel-painted birds and flowers on the other. Gina also possessed an incredible brooch with a yellow diamond. This pendant brooch, featuring a large yellow diamond in an antique cushion cut, originally belonged to the Persian Sultan Ahmad Shah Qajar. In the latter half of the 20th century, it found its way into Gina Lola Brigida's collection. The brooch with a flawless 74 karat yellow diamond surrounded by 22 antique round cut diamonds was sold at auction in 2013 for nearly $3 million. Another unquestionably magnificent piece was a brooch designed by Gina herself. Made of coral in the shape of a rose and adorned with a scattering of diamonds, it showcased her personal touch and impeccable taste. The necklace from the Bulgari jewelry house captivated Gina with its precious gemstones. Often Gina favored the cabochon cut. Large sapphires surrounded by rubies, emeralds, and round cut diamonds set the mood for a true celebration. Gina particularly loved the long necklace adorned with various gemstones. Like a true woman who finds it difficult to choose when it comes to jewels, she seemingly preferred to acquire all the options. Gina adored the jewelry from the Bavulgari jewelry house. She wore this diamond ring every day, even to go out to the market for fruits or to head to a shooting. In the end, she nearly lost it during a promotional tour in America. The actress always took off her jewelry when washing her hands and somehow forgot it in the bathroom. Fortunately, upon returning to her room, the ring was found untouched. But Lola Brigida's collection wasn't solely comprised of emeralds. For instance, a bracelet made of gold, diamonds, sapphires and rubies purchased from one of London's antique shops was considered by the actress as a kind of talisman, which she often wore, especially when flying on airplanes. Speaking after the sale, Lola Brigida said, Jewels are made to bring pleasure, and for many years I derived immense pleasure from wearing mine. Many tried to persuade me to sell them, but for a long time I resisted. What changed is that a little girl named Sophia is suffering from a disorder that can only be helped with stem cell treatment, a treatment she cannot receive in Italy. Selling my jewels to help raise awareness about stem cell therapy, which can cure so many diseases, seems to me a wonderful way to use them. I hope the Italian parliament will approve this innovative treatment so that children and adults in Italy can have access to it without having to travel abroad at great expense. Now it gives me immense pleasure to see that these jewels will create a legacy that will live on after me and continue to bring goodness. And what jewelry did you like the most? Write in the comments. Also write about what jewelry you would like to hear about and we will try to prepare this story for you. Thank you.